what's up you guys welcome back so i just want to preface this video it's kind of like a paranormal spooky vlog almost it's just me kelsey amanda and maddie hanging out and kelsey wanted to work on her mediumship so amanda came down and was helping her out so yeah i hope you enjoy the video Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackie and I hope you're all having a great day today. And I'm still with Kelsey. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. It's like I so know. creepy looking. And there's Maddie Hi. too. <laughs> and this is basically a vlog from our last spooky video we just did, except now Maddie has gotten extremely good at reading tarot. It's yeah, like her it's gift. so accurate. Like it's it's crazy. She has predicted things for me that have happened. Like she's legit. Okay, oh my god, like going. No, she's legit. <laughs> yeah, so she's gonna do a reading for me right now, but just look at this setup. It's insane. So we got all the candles, the sage burning. Kelsey just got a crystal ball. <laughs> this is Azurite Malachite too. Ooh. So it's cool. like a really powerful third eye crystal. Oh, that that's many awesome. borrow it. Okay, so she's just gonna do my reading. Okay, I'm gonna call up to them again because I don't know if they left. Well, I don't think they left. They're probably kind of there. All right. Here. Spirit guides. We're because calling out to our spirit guides. Anyone who can protect us. And then Maddie. Help with my intuition. And Maddie could call out to whoever she needs to help with her tarot. Her tarot. Okay, what am I doing? What am I reading? I don't know. What am How I does it work? Are you guys work? here? Okay, and then if there's like a yes or something, just flicker the candles if we ask a question. They typically do it. Okay. Yeah. Um, usually like I ask Sorry. like what the, like what you want me to read on. Okay. Cause they're usually general. It's hard for me to just do like a general reading. Cause I don't really know. I don't have anything to base it off of right now. Yeah. Um, so like you could be like, okay, what about like, you'd be like my anxiety or like, my career, like okay. some kind of like subject that you want me to like look at. Okay, all right. Um, how about can let's start out with like career. Okay. Like career, like the future like, opportunity okay. that may be coming up. Like okay. Wish fulfillment card. Ooh. What is it? So yeah, <laughs> these are good cards, Max. Those what are, the heck? are they? Like really good. So essentially, like. What the heck? Okay, let me get one more. Oh, oh okay. wait, the way they just like fly yeah, out like that's that? usually how I read. Some people don't do oh it this God. way, but I like it. So, okay. It kind of looks like you're gonna have like a wish fulfillment coming in, but you're gonna have a lot of opportunities come in. So you're gonna get to choose like what you want. You might have like a choice to make because okay. this card is like representing like you're gonna have, it's like indecision or like you feel like at a, you're at a crossroads. Like okay. you don't know which way to go. Cause like I said, you're gonna have a lot of options. So you have to, but you have to see them because you might miss them. You're like not fully seeing the okay. opportunities or maybe you won't see them fully. <laughs> the candles, oh my gosh, are, like the candles are like going crazy but, when she says that. Yeah, I mean, it, just be patient, but like you will be able to like choose from a few different things when it comes to like career and Interesting. opportunity, I guess. Well, that's weird. You put the card down the, the Palo Santos went on top, on top of it. Of the card. Oh, okay. like weird. It that was weird. That's so I weird. I like, did like a, this backflip and just landed. How did it get out there? No, oh. it's weird. Okay, so hold your vision and your dreams need a practical plan. So like I said, like you need to like, you'll have to make a decision or like really try to figure out where you want to go. Okay. But just hold on to what you want. I mean, it's wish with only card. You're going to get what you want. That's the abundance candle. And what is that Oh one? my God, the candles. They're all going nuts. This one's like the mediumship communication with like other, the other side, like the spirits are like working and then this is intuition and that, that absorbs negativity and then this is the dream candle. Like, So is like, are those flickering like for Maddie or for me? Well, it's usually just like, yes. Like when okay. I'm like, talking they about kind something, of agree with what she's saying, okay. what I'm saying in a way. Interesting. Oh, um, Can I get you on mine? Can, She's all. I'm like overwhelmed. <laughs> but it's okay. Can, They're like, can, can we, we know? <laughs> can we do one like about my anxiety? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And like, so, cause I'm doing like that whole brain okay. thing right now. So see if it's like going to. We'll do a whole special one. Oh. Like we'll do a special like Ooh. episode. Okay. About so it. Okay. I have an idea. With that, you're gonna have to have patience, which I'm sure you already know that. Yeah. So use your intuition with like what you feel is best for you. But like at first it's gonna seem like it's not really going your way. Like you're not seeing like the other side. I'm getting like 
what is it? The light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Like you're not seeing it right now, or maybe okay. like at first it's gonna feel that way, but you'll gain a new perspective on it. You just have to be patient with your anxiety. Okay. And then let's see, what are like the future energies? Will she come out of it better? You know? Uh, yeah. Like, oh will it go God. away eventually? Yeah, you're gonna persevere through it. Yeah, you'll be fine. It's okay. just, it's gonna take a little bit. Like, it's not gonna be like right away. Okay. So, is there a way to tell, like, if, um, if like doing this brain institute thing I'm doing, if that's like the right decision, like if that will help at all, like the brain stuff I'm doing, is it gonna show any results? See, these ones are kind of weird. Let me do tarot. Okay. Okay. Oh. Well, Whoa. Wow. Okay, it looks one. like you're gonna get what you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, like it's like, this is another thing, like all your cups are gonna be filled, but wish fulfillment, what you're wanting is going to happen. And you'll have that's a lot so, of options too. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's good. That's, that's good. really good. That yeah. means it's gonna help for okay, sure. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, so it's a couple days later. I'm back at Kelsey's house. Hi guys. <laughs> and we are actually waiting for Amanda to get here right now. She's making the trek down to Kelsey's place. Yeah. And uh, like a week ago, Kelsey went to this abandoned child development center. Oh, because Bob visited yeah. me in my dream and like told me like where he died and stuff, and it looked like that development center. So we went there, and Sorry. then like he kept telling us to dig and all this stuff, and like Amanda was watching my video and she saw him like with us. It's so and insane. And she thinks that like we're right. So we, uh, we're we gonna have Amanda help us and <laughs> figure out what happened to Oh Bob. my God. So we're just chilling in here right now. Kelsey was doing the Necrophonic app and the Dallasing Rods with Lola and she was we're actually- about Ted Bundy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's on her TikTok, right? It's that, about to be, yeah. yeah. so she's posting that on her TikTok right now. So go check that out because I was just watching her edit it and it's super it's strange. So weird. Like she thinks she saw one of his victims come mm -hmm. into the apartment while she was doing it. I'm pretty sure. Oh. It was like this woman and like bloody, like she wanted me to know like that she was one of the victims. Like she yeah. like had blood on her clothes. It's so scary and sad. Yeah, it was really weird. Oh, we will pick back up when Amanda gets here. We're yeah. gonna practice our mediumship skills also because yes. Amanda can like validate. Can literally see everything. Yeah, so she can see and like validate if the spirits Kelsey or I are seeing are actually there or not. So we'll pick back up when she gets here. So Amanda just arrived well, we know. <laughs> and she walked in and has already seen Maddie's family members, Kelsey's family members, I see them gang's all here. Yeah, the so gang's, the gang's all here. Is Lola here? Oh. No. No. Oh. She dipped. She's yeah. like, bye. Yeah, she's like, she's coming. <laughs> she just like dips. Like she just goes. Hello. Places. Can I pick up your cat? Oh, yeah. Good, because I am already wow. in the process. Wow. Hello, sir. I don't know what she's oh, looking at me like. Oh, the babies. Oh, Tito, look for it. <laughs> There's literally He's cats everywhere. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Are there like any animals? Uh, you have a dog here, but I don't think it's yours. I think it's yours because he's standing in the kitchen with you. He's, what? What is he? Crying? No! <laughs> oh my gosh! What kind of dog? Is he black? Yeah, but it's like a like medium size. He's like dog. Dog. like chunky yeah. kind of. But like probably like this high off the ground. Like he's little. Like you have to bend down in the kitchen with her. Yeah. Cry. Why am I crying? He's literally <laughs> begging for your little snacks. Oh. It's Brady. When did he pass away? Like a year ago. So That's I'm so like, sad. I'm like crying. <laughs> no, seriously. Well, I know because I feel him like brush against my leg sometimes. Yeah. And I always knew. I didn't know if it was him or not. But no doubt. That confirms it. Okay, cool. That's so cool. Like, so I'm She's going to start crying. Down. Like, what do you feel about him, basically? So, so he doesn't speak to me, but when I saw him, he came to me and like, a pastel green kind of yeah. button up shirt. Yes, yes. And his sleeves were rolled and this isn't even important. It just stuck out to me. I think he was shirt he died in. He was a big guy. Yeah. And so he would roll his sleeves, but he couldn't roll them like up to oh. his elbow. So it was like <laughs> mid forearm area. And he honestly just felt like a genuinely nice guy. He kind of kept to himself and did his own things. 
I think that his mom was in a nursing home. Like, he didn't have any family that was available to him. Aww. He didn't have any children. He wasn't dating anyone. He didn't have any siblings. Yeah. So he really didn't have anyone looking out for him. He was always looking out for someone else kind of vibe. So when he died or was murdered, no one missed him or kind of went looking for him. Yeah, I, that's how I felt too. So in my dream, I saw like him being murdered from behind. He had this pastel green shirt on and it had like blue stripes and like it was like a button up, like a button up, like collar type shirt. And like, so when she said like green, I was like, wait a minute. It's like, so weird. Crazy. And then like when we were, um, when you were watching the video, you saw him like in the video in the car with us. Yeah. Right? Behind Maddie. <laughs> behind <the doors. laughs> Maddie loves that. She thinks that we were digging in the wrong spot, which I think so too. Um, yeah, in your video, when you're like going back towards the play area, there's this huge tree and he was literally like in my room kind of pointing back like behind me like straight forward towards the tree and then you went left and saw all of the um, office drawers yeah, and stuff yeah. like that and then dug over there where he told you to dug but I think it was back towards the tree and then later in the video you guys found that shovel yeah and it yeah. was like it was super close to the shovel so I wouldn't at all be surprised <gasps> if that was connected the right. shovel wait was that like the actual shovel you think that they like him with? I have no idea. Oh my god, I touched it. It was really <laughs> old. Oh, I, it. It. I guess Bob's here right now. Like, he's, is he still here on the Yeah, couch? he was over there. He's on the balcony. He's on oh. the balcony. Oh, right wow. Now. So Bob's out on the balcony. I think he knows why she's here. Maybe that's why he came He's out. like, yes. Because, like, he usually, like, yeah. I usually don't feel him here. But, like, yeah. now that you're here, I feel like he's it just feels uh -huh. heavy. Mm -hmm. It does. Like, ugh. Yeah, like no, it yeah. felt light in here when I got here, and then now it definitely has like, like a heavier he energy. Was coming just yeah, to figure out his stuff. So we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna try to go down to the place that um, and maybe dig. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh my I'm god! Like, are we digging? Amanda like brought shots. She's. <laughs> she's I'm 21. For yeah, anyone who's <laughs> But you, ready. you like connect better when you've like had a little something, right? Yeah, people ask that all the time is like what happens if you like alter your state of mind, aka get drunk or yeah. smoke some devil's lechuga. <laughs> <laughs> lechuga. And it like totally makes a difference. It like I, I see things every day no matter what. Yeah. But the more loose I am, the more they come through. That's exactly yeah. what I say about weed, like when I smoke pot and then I do my psychic visions like with the ball and everything. I like it's way more clear like I can see the color of shirts and like just like it's way more clear when I'm high so like that's right. so cool. cool that you like that's crazy. know that too no sometimes when they talk to me it's kind of like like you know if you're driving and you're listening to the radio and it starts cutting out and you can hear the static but you can mm -hmm. still kind of hear yeah yeah, yeah. The yeah sometimes it's like that sometimes I can hear them clearly uh -huh. say, like we're all talking right now but if I drink it's a chef's kiss. <laughs> so but I don't meditate just because of like what I went through yeah, when I was younger. Yeah. I with a lot of negative spirits in the house oh. that I grew up in. So I'm really afraid because of like how severe yeah. I see things that if I ever do let my guard down in that sort of sense, like let my mind wander. But something could happen. But yeah, yeah. that's just like, it's like a traumatizing. Mind. Yeah, I'm not down with that. I still sleep <laughs> yeah. in my head under the no. covers. <laughs> She like told me she's like so there was like this creature called the rink and like <clears throat> you comment on my Stop. video. I like literally want to yak and, and not because the what? skin off. So what literally, happened? So there's this creature called the rake and uh -huh. it's like this like weird demonic type like skinwalker type thing Ew. like looking and like she is told me and like she's like i literally <gasps> saw it and it was like walking like a crab I was gonna say, yeah, oh, is it. that the thing that the, like, that's when you're little I, that's not what i grew up with yeah but um we actually moved out of the home that i dealt with all the demonic yeah. entities in because it was so bad and we had priests after priests come out like any religion you name it we had their head guy come out and try, try and fix it just didn't work so we literally just moved out of the home oh, wow. so um, crazy but i don't see negative things in my new home as often but i was walking out to my car at night to head up i live in like a separate guest house uh -huh. um and it was in front of my car and a lot of the pictures show it like like on its hands and feet like a bear walking yeah. kind of Ew. but when i saw it it was literally like a like crab, crab. oh my god was, no i was literally like 
I will be sleeping in my mom's house tonight. <laughs> That's <laughs> so scary. scary. I'll get out by my car. Oh my I'll just go do my own like, thing. See, like, I'm oh. like, I like seeing, like, her, <laughs> like, I get, like, visions that pop in my head. Yeah, I'm right. Like, you get that. I get visions. I don't see them. I just, like, get visions of them. So it's like, if I... <laughs> If I had to see that, I don't know how you do it, girl. Oh, I'm like, still not okay. <laughs> but I still know what you're saying by the visions. I have never, like, talked about this one on camera or anything. But I was in the bath once, and my mom opens the door, and I'm like, what? You know? Yeah. And she shows me a picture of a man, and she goes, you know what happened to this guy? And I guess she was on some kind of, like, psychic, faith, you know, mom's Facebook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where, like, people are supposed to practice their abilities, and this person was like, please reach out to my son, and he passed away. Mm -hmm. So she just shows me this picture, and she goes, what happened to this guy? And I got a pounding headache. Like, I, like I've had migraines before. This was nothing like that. It was literally horrible. And I tasted metal in my mouth, and not like the metal, like, if you get punched and you have yeah, blood yeah. in your mouth, mm -hmm. but, like, legit if you're chewing on a necklace. Like, uh, metal, right? Ooh. Super weird. I'm watching that cat attack you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard like metal crashing against metal. So kind of like a car accident, but not like two cars hitting each other. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever like heard or seen yeah. a car accident. Yeah. But like a car, I was like, it literally sounds like a car wrapped around a pole or hit the metal divide on a freeway. And it turns out this guy died in a car accident. He's wrapped his car around a pole. Oh my god. The reason he died in the car accident was because a piece of metal went through his head. <gasps> so that's why I had a headache. And the reason I tasted metal in my mouth was because he was a metal worker. Oh my god. Right? I'm all. <laughs> like, seriously. So like I so get what you're saying with like the visions yeah. and the feelings and things. Mm -hmm. It can just be super overwhelming. Yeah. I don't know, there was a guy the other day and like he had something wrong with his lungs and I felt like my lungs start getting all like like yeah. choked like I don't right. know it's just no, heavy it. it's, it's just like overwhelming it. like especially when you like don't know how to control it yeah exactly you know it's definitely definitely interesting so I wanted like Amanda to kind of help me with my medium work yeah. too and like see if I'm accurate I'm so glad you brought that up because there is a woman in here okay and I'm just gonna like tell you she's on that half of the room so I want you to tell me like where, it's a woman, an okay. older woman, she's probably around 50 or 60, and okay. she died in a super violent way. So I want- Here? Right yeah, now. right now. She's like not, like she didn't die here or anything. She's visiting and like she wants to help you out with your mediumship. She does. Really? Yeah. So if you want to tell me where you feel in the room she is, like we can totally work on that right it's now. It's like crystal ball. So right here, I didn't want to interfere with what Kelsey might have been feeling, so when she would turn her back, I would just whisper to Amanda what I was seeing and what I was feeling. So that's what's going on here. Yeah, whatever you're comfortable so with. I can use this. Okay guys, here Wait, we go. Um, and then we'll get back to Bob. <laughs> do you want me to hold the... Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I thought you were going to do that. Okay, let's see. Alright, can you guys show me what the woman here, where the woman here is, the woman that wants to help me with my mediumship? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that her. <laughs> Drown? Is she like over here? Sorry, I'm like choking. <laughs> <laughs> She's right here. Okay. Right there. She's tall. She's. She's. <laughs> Does like, Kelsey know her? No. No, I don't know. Okay, come over here with me. Oh. Ow! The uh, pop. Okay. I popped. Like, what do oh. you feel in your body? Like, where hurts? Like, can you breathe? Can you not breathe? Oh, well, that's really weird. Like, you can feel how sad mm -hmm. she was. Yeah, she's like, so my stomach kind of hurts, and then, like, my lungs are, like, really, up here's heavy. Yeah. It's, like, no, really yeah. heavy. Yeah. She hung herself. <clears throat> she had stomach cancer, and she hung herself. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Okay, so you know how I told you my neck was bugging me yesterday? I felt like I couldn't breathe all day, like there was something around my neck like last night and I had a panic attack, like I couldn't like figure out what it was. Like when I got and it was here, like around my neck. Wait, she had stomach, so my stomach hurt. She had, <gasps> like she had pancreatic cancer and she herself. Oh 
And I was like, sitting right there. So when I'm like, saying this like, woman, this woman right now is hanging in between you and I. Dead. That's, she's hanging right that's now? That's what I see. Like, her body is swinging oh. back and forth, and she's hanging. And oh, like, she it feels hair? so she heavy. She has dark right hair. Dark Can you hair? tell what kind of clothes she wears? Is she wearing a dress? Like, it looks what like do you a feel white in your dress. body? A white like dress, a white but a dress. nightgown. Yeah, like a nightgown, a white nightgown. And then, like, dark hair. Do you feel like she had any kids? Was she married? Was she divorced? Oh, God. I know. Put you on the I'm like, okay. I feel like her husband left her. Yep. Husband left her. Was she pregnant? She or was not pregnant. She wasn't pregnant, okay. Does she have... She wanted kids, but her husband left her. I feel like she didn't have kids. She had two. She did. Okay. They were grown and moved out, and they didn't oh. have anything to do with her. So that might oh. be why you get that she had no one in her life, no kids. Okay. And I don't know if she had a miscarriage or not, but... It's weird, because like now like I get flashes of her like hanging. Like, and she's barefoot. Her feet are like yep. kind of dirty. Dirty. Yeah. dirty. Her feet are dirty. <laughs> Wait, that's weird. Right? So like sometimes like sometimes I can hear and see them uh -huh. clear as day like I see you guys. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'll like literally feel like you'll know, I'll feel the energy in the room right. and I'm like, it feels like a little boy. Or it feels like an older uh -huh. woman. So this woman when I got here and we were talking about your dog, she was like, I'm here to help Kelsey. But she was hanging. Oh Why is she? My God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> I literally like. Oh my God. This is so messed up. Like It's a little closer to that way. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Like her feet would have been brushing you where you were sitting. Like she is like swinging. Can, can she not like make me feel like I'm choking? I know. Like, I thought I was choking last night. <laughs> I was like. Wait, out. I'm literally sitting here and I like, cannot get a full breath and it's That's like giving me anxiety. You. Yesterday, I literally thought I was gonna die. In this like, apartment, no, not no. at all. No, she died years and years and years ago. She just Damn. randomly. She had herself outside in a barn. <gasps> oh, there was a barn here. There was a barn here. Was there? No, I don't think so. I don't think it was here. Oh, like I know she was <laughs> like on this land. I didn't know. Like, no, no, no. Where, I don't oh. think it was here at all. Like I don't think she's tied to this place. I think that she just came because I'm here. I don't know. So, Mackie, do you remember when I saw that man in your yeah, father's name yeah, of America? Yes. What I, you might associate, like, beads or crisscross applesauce, like, something yeah. else. He danced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Danced. Yeah. So, like, mediums can have their own little things okay. that they associate with people. Yeah, she was just sitting, like, on the floor crisscross applesauce, like, very straight. When, up. when you see them, do you see it, like, in your mind or, in like, mind. physically, like? Not physically. Okay. It's always, like, if in my mind. Interesting. Yeah, see, so I can see the woman right now. Yeah, I can't see. Like it's just flashes, so, like in my mind. See, like whenever I see anything, I see like they're here. Yeah, I can't. I don't see them. Huh. It's like, so crazy. What's well, weird Kelsey sees like people that are living too. Like so, she like, can tap into like what I'll someone's go on the doing. crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> I call my dad all the time. Like you can that. do that too. Well, I don't see them. Uh. We'll send people. Oh. So my eyes are <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bad. So I'll send my mom. I was with my mom. And uh, she has that little girl, Emily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. Who hangs out with her all the freaking time. Oh my god, I thought I wanted a little sister. And my dad calls my mom and my mom's like, are you working in the backyard? Like, you're supposed to be like, whatever, blowing leaves. I don't know what men do. Yeah. And uh, he's like, yeah, I'm doing it right now. And Emily comes back. Like, she like leaves and comes back and goes, he's sitting on the couch on his iPad. And I was like, ooh, like that's oh, the she, like, TV. Oh that. my god! And so, and so we pull in, and the TV's on, and we like walk down the driveway instead of driving on the driveway. So we, uh -huh. we have a long driveway, yeah. so he can't hear us come in, you know, and get up and scurry into the backyard. And he's in there, sitting on his iPad in here, but she's not in this room with us. She's she the just place. walked into whoever is room. Oh, my place. room. A woman. A woman. You guys don't know her? Like, it's more of like, a, oh, if you want to okay. tell me what you feel with her. Oh. Should I go, like, over there? Yeah, if you want, if that'll help you. <laughs> Maybe. I got kind of dizzy. <laughs> she what? She died in childbirth. Okay. She threw blood on. Oh my god. Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> She threw a blood clot, but during something. A blood clot, like in her brain? I don't know where. This is what she told me. Like, 
Do your arms or do your legs feel good? My legs? Yeah, do your legs feel fine? Mine feel like weak. They feel like tingly, but like. Your legs might feel tired. They're like tingly. How do your arms feel? Does she not have legs or arms or something? She has both. Oh, <laughs> I, just, like, I want you to like focus See, on the parts Amanda. of your body so you can feel which one feels better. Amanda, different. from like here down, it's like super weak. Like, yeah. like I can't stand up. Yeah. Hello. This is okay. Brady. And this boom. arm right here kind of hurts. Uh -oh. Down here. How does your stomach feel? I feel oh. like nauseous. Like my head started hurting. My stomach felt like nauseous, and then my arm right here like started. Hurting. Like pregnancy symptoms. Oh, maybe. Nause nausea, headache. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. She was giving birth, and she died during childbirth. Birth. She threw a blood clot. Is that where they put like the IV in that arm? <gasps> oh, maybe that that's could what it totally was. be. Yeah, it's like right the IV. here. The IV. Maybe. If she's like in the hospital, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just this arm. Huh. And there's one more like, little boy here. <clears throat> oh, is it Blake? I don't. I don't know. Is he blonde? No, dark hair. No, he's not. Dark curly hair. Is Blake then? Is it Brad? There's like a couple little boys that came through <laughs> the other day. <laughs> this boy died. Tragically. Was it a car accident or no? No. Because that was it, Blake. It'd be a super similar feeling. Blake. Oh, I'm not Blake. God. Okay, who is this little boy? He has like curly hair. He's pale. He's very pale. He has freckles. It's probably around 8, 10. Yeah. Is he like from like not this era? Probably not, no. He looks like from like a different era. Like he's like... How do you feel about his mom? Does he feel love for his mom? Does he feel love for his dad? When you said mom, like I like got sad. Did his mom kill him? Yeah, do so you know how? <gasps> Did she drown him? She beat him to death. Oh, beat him? Jesus. It's so sad. <gasps> You're getting a lot better. I'm getting better. It literally just takes practice. It's so sad. Like that, wow. this like yeah. helps me. Yeah. No, that's totally- Cause like I have these feelings, but then I don't know if it's just me like yeah. feeling this. Yeah, and you don't know what to associate oh. them with. Right, oh, I don't know the like, cause the nausea is like- What the hell? Like, and because I can see her pregnant, yeah. I know what yeah. you're feeling. No, it like helps. helps. Oh, boy, no, no. no, so I definitely have like a leg up in that sense. All right, and that is where the video stops abruptly, and that is because we are going to go to the Child Development Center that Kelsey was talking about, where Bob was and she was digging. It's like a whole video. You guys should go over to her channel and watch it because it's crazy, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to go with them over there at that time. I had an appointment, so I wasn't able to go, but that's okay. So yeah, we literally all just hung out and had fun. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you like this vlog type of video, comment down below and I can definitely do more. I'm actually going to see Amanda in a couple days. So that'll be super fun. And we're actually gonna go investigate somewhere. So stay tuned for that. And if you are new here, please subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.